All right, All right. So, so we're, we're back, back with, with more Tuesday the Kingdom, Kingdom Possilus. You missed last, last time, we got, got off of the Great, great Sky Islands and took out without, without pausing. Well, pausing, pausing twice, the, the minimum, minimum number of pauses it takes to get off the, the Great Sky Islands. Islands. And now, now we will be continuing and just, just doing, doing whatever without, without pausing. pausing. Are you? So when you this one. What? What? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Mm hmm. Yes. Open the menu. menu. So, so character, character IDs, IDs don't even matter. matter. I, don't I don't know why I picked that up. up. It's, it's I'm very, very confident a weapon tutorial will be filled, filled anyways. anyways. Gotta, Gotta go, go to uh, Hyrule, Hyrule Castle, Castle now. Do, do this shrine on the way. Because because anytime, anytime there's a shrine that we can do, we should be doing, doing it. it. Guys, bow. Well, well, we already have a bow, so we should. Let's get this guy's weapon afterwards. God, God I picked up the shield. shield. Great. 
we're gonna take this rusty broadsword and yeah. stick. And I would, I would take this construct bow, bow, but switching, switching bows is actually pretty, pretty painful. painful. Uh, this rusty shield, I don't know if it's worth trying to break this shield just to pick up this rusty one. one. We're just gonna go without it. I was going to quickly drop my weapon <laughs> to make, make sure that this isn't a, a uh, And there it is, so we'll, we'll be taking this Stone Knight Sword instead. Fortunately, we'll never be able to put anything on it, because we don't have fuse. Do that. I, I, I just realized it would be really funny if you didn't have a uh, ultra hand, we couldn't get through the castle doors. You'd have, have to go around. around. Thankfully, we took an ultra hand with Magdesis. I'm definitely going to call this the Magdesis, so I'm just going to call it Magdesis now because. It's they're basically, basically the same, same thing. thing. Alright, All right, so, so while we're walking up to Hyrule Castle, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, talk about a few things, things that we're gonna try to do early to get, get a good, good power boost. So, so one thing we're gonna try to do is to get the Earthquake technique, technique, which is hidden in the Yika Clan hideout. hideout. Which requires we go to the three Yiga, Yiga bases to get, get the armor set that allows us to enter the hideout. Once you get hideout, it'll be pretty easy to get the earthquake technique, which will allow us to fight enemies without a weapon. When we can only bring one weapon into a fight, that'll be pretty helpful. Another one is so you gotta get to the Tema Dai shop to equip armor. Because you can use the like dying, dying armor feature to pick to, pick, to, to switch, switch armors. armors. And I'm gonna, gonna eventually try to do the temples, try to beat the, the bosses, but I don't really know how that's gonna go, go so <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. I'm actually gonna take the soldier broadsword. Eventually, if we ever need it, we can always switch out Ultra Hand. Of course, I think we can. We can switch out Ultra Hand for Auto Build, which may be useful for the temples. But we should only get Auto Build once we're confident that there's nothing else Ultra Hand can solve. The auto Build's situationally useful. We should do our best to not take any damage because it is much more difficult to recover health. Proceed to almost take damage. I 
think we can get in there. Good to throw the weapon and then Ultra Hand push the thing up. But I don't think it's anything in there is super worth it right now. Alright, so finding good weapons for fights is going to be very difficult because we can't we can't use things. And every single weapon's rusty. So the best chance is either Hyper Castle. We can get loyal weapons. Uh, uh, finding pre-fused pre weapons is like, like in monster, monster bases, but, but doing monster, monster bases requires us to have weapons, <laughs> and the depths, which can have repair weapons, which will, will be helpful if we could actually get down there to the depths and come back up, which we can't do very easily. So, early, early game, we're stuck with weapons, weapons that, that are pretty, pretty bad. Which is like really, really not helpful. helpful. Alright, so, so I think one of the first things we're gonna try to do. Is find, find a stable, stable and then get a, a, get a, get a horse. horse. That'll allow us to get places faster. faster. We can't yeah. equip it until we get to Tano. As, As for armor and aware, I think having elemental resistances, like cold areas and warm areas, will be more helpful early game than like defense. Ah. There's always things like Phantom Armor we can get. But it doesn't require applying resistances, although it is 20 foot defense with uh, attack, attack up, which, which can be pretty useful. Uh, I actually don't know where it is, although I could suck it up. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need here right at this moment.
Impossible to get. So, so that's, that's a problem. problem. But we'll, we'll try, try to get a lot of them. them. You're not, not going to turn to look out anything right now. We're just going to go under the venture. We want to go. I want to see where her antenna is. West, so it's this way. way. That's, that's the wetlands. That's, that's the doing piece. Considering our low attack, the defense are just going to run past most enemies. It's not, not a whole lot of point to, to fight. We have a shrine right there. I can have later. Oh wait, that's the ring ruins right there. That's Kakariko. Unsoft locking our weapon inventory if it gets soft locked. 
I think I'm gonna have to pick up the Master Sword early. Or we can get stuck with having the weapons. We can open up a slot in inventory using a Hestu and Koroxes, so we'll only need like. like not even 15 Korok seeds at the most. And then this whole playthrough. This river. I might be able to climb that tree root over there to get to that shrine. Most fish. Like, almost everything in the game is useless. You can't open your inventory. Even like things like bomb, bomb flowers and agent weights. Like, like bomb and agent arrows, arrows are completely, completely pointless. pointless. That, that he is holding bomb arrows, arrows so I'm gonna shoot him down. down. Mm -hmm. Get those. <laughs> Ordinarily, I would just want to live. He's got, got a bomb arrow. arrow. Not a bomb arrow, arrow just a bomb. There's, There's a blue goblin over there, so I'll have to keep a distance. <laughs> Alright. I think, and in the four dungeons, the Wind, Wind Temple boss, Kogera, can, can be beaten without, without anything. As long as, long as I, I get, get to that boss with health, as long as I'm alive, Kogera is possible. I don't, I don't know if the Wind Temple is possible, possible, but I feel like that should be our first run that we should try to do. If we get, get two ones, ability, ability that'll, that'll help quite a bit. I think I can just climb up this thing to reach the shrine. There's a magic wizard robe over there. I think the rods, like the elemental rods, would be pretty helpful because it's your only way to get elemental effects on weapons once you find another weapon with a uh, effect on it. Are you gonna make this or no? I don't think, think I, I am. am. Oh. Oh. Uh. Razor fall though, so... Mm, it's pretty unfortunate. But, but once, once I get, get like an extra, extra thing of stamina, I'm pretty, pretty confident, confident I will be able to make, make that, make that and get, get that shrine. Why, Why is the camera so zoomed, zoomed in? in? I'm not going crazy, am I? The camera's more zoomed in than usual. That's fast. Kakariko because of how expensive it is. There is some of those over there, that's unfortunate. I did not want to read the distribution materials, I wanted to pick up that cyber trouble. Alright, run away from the Zalfos now. Barracudas are also pretty intimidating. That's one of me though. They have arrows, I think they probably do. Alright. I'd love to get more arrows, but I don't have access to arrows right now. Or at least enough arrows. Alright, it's the Sky Creek Village. The camera is definitely zoomed in. It's zoomed out now. There's not a ton that's gonna help us at Kakariko. 
but we, we could, could get, get some money by selling our, uh, the things we've picked up. These tomatoes, tomatoes will never be important, important because we can never cook with them, them. or eat them. Possible. Of course, not every shrine we encounter will be possible. Some require recall or sense. Almost none of them require fuse. I, don't, I can't think of a single shrine except the fuse. <laughs> Even the fuse tutorial doesn't really require fuse. <coughs> Upright device. Uh, great. great. This, this one's, one's not possible. possible. Oh. And most, most of the shrines that require ascent, if, if we, we could get access to the rocket shield, which is the uh, any shield, shield plus the Zonai rocket, rocket, you can, can use. The, we might, might be able to use that to uh, reach, reach some, some of these uh, places that require ascent. Unfortunately, we can't make our own rocket shield. So we'll have to figure out a way to, uh, find one in the world. But I bet, I bet there's at least one somewhere in the world. That could be very useful for solving puzzles. Hope it responds every blood moon. Is that we could just find rocket shields to solve puzzles. Follow this road. We'll reach ten of it. It's not quite. That will also equip armor. You don't have a ton of armor to equip at the moment, but I think we'll wait just not clothing store there anymore. We'll have to get clothing somewhere else. But then we'll get some defense, and we'll we'll be doing a little better for ourselves. Okay, this is for a great fairy. Talking to this drummer. But I don't remember what he needs. Oh yeah, three comes of honey. That we can uh, 
get, get access to a great fairy quicker. Great fairies, fairies will be... It'll be okay. okay. Upgrading armor is kind of a hassle, but... Pretty good reward. I think that's a stable right there. Yep, yep that's a stable. Hopefully, Hopefully we can find some uh, a horse nearby. Feature to this, this game, game where the first so many guards there. there. The, the first, first uh, uh, horse, horse free, free. Which, which is very nice. nice. There's, There's a, a chest, chest in there, there though. though. Oh, if it's they, a uh, defeat, defeat all the enemy's chest and. Very confident I'm not beating all those guys. I think I might. I, I could, but it wouldn't be easy. Right. I think I want to get that round black horse if I can. That one right there. But I don't know if I have enough stamina. Or if my mashing skills are good enough. Never sneak up to him to save stamina. Nah, we'll, we'll just start, start for one of the weaker ones. ones. Speed, four stamina, three, three pole. pole. All right, pretty good. We, we just gotta, gotta not get into any enemies with this, this horse, or he will, will die. die. That three speed, four stamina, is pretty good. So. Ah. Uh, we'll we'll name this guy play, play because, because it's the opposite, opposite of pausing. pausing. Super useful besides the pole harness. Alright, so now we're gonna head. I think through doing these. We need to go this way. So it's a time, so we're gonna go. But the best path is gonna be follow the path. Back to Kakariko. Through Kakariko, out of the other side. Oh, oh. To, uh, oh. Tenno, eventually. 
I think this is the first time I've ever registered any horse that's not like a special one. My first playthrough I used Epona, and then I got the gold horse and used that one. And then I upgraded it. Oh yeah, we also can't upgrade any horses because you can't pause to cook food. And then I think it's very... I think I get like one or two stats. NPC gives us a code item that we need to upgrade a horse, but that is highly unlikely. So we're kind of stuck with what we got. Rocks that we can just play through. Shame. Yeah. 
Oh, that's what I forgot. That's what I forgot. That's what I forgot. Huh. Yeah, uh, it's very bad. bad if I got a horse into a fight with that. that. Get it here. And it is from over here. Do this right. Hopefully, Hopefully we, can we can do this one. Deep force. Okay, okay I, I think, think this one's possible. possible. <laughs> hands, because we just gotta do this. Whoop. Construct bow. I don't know what would have, but well, well it's apparently we lost our inventory now. now. I don't think these bloody devices, devices appear like anywhere, anywhere else in the whole game. game. I, just, I, I can't remember where they show up. We got, we got one, one more puzzle. Completed. Second, Second trend. trend. Kind, kind of forgot about the combat one. Like that, that tower, tower and then like, like that, that way a little bit. So yeah, that red pin's, pin's pretty good. good. I, I think, think we're gonna... gonna... Ice one and then quickly switch to the other. Alright, I might That's my neighbor. Where am I? The map would be useful because it would show me my surroundings. Across this river. Oh, oh wait, wait, that's, that's not a river. That's a vinyl. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not, not doing, doing that. that. <laughs> that's a no. no. But, but I kind of need to get, get past him. him. So, uh. I 
I should really not do this. I kind of optimally need to go that way. I'm just gonna save real quick. If you missed the first one, I'm allowing saving and loading. At the, at the minimum. I don't know about map warps yet. I'll see you when we get there. But... Everything is theoretically possible without saving and loading. Like, if you can do it, it just will help me not get trapped somewhere. So I'm gonna quickly try to ride down this guy. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please, please go away. I think we're good. I think he doesn't care. exactly where I was, but I don't know where that is in terms of everything else on the map, so it's not very helpful. Find another stable, we can always get our horse back, but I don't think there's another one away here. Where is that? That's Sora's domain. So that's, that's the one by Zora's domain, which I don't think there's anything special to do. I think, I think it's just you get there. there. Oh, oh, hey, it's Nedra. Actually, there's Nedra. So, so this is Gagarico Village. I'm gonna quickly, quickly try to get a dragon heart. My, My hope is that it doesn't fall in the depths, depths because then I'm not getting it. it. This is the depths hole right here. Because I need. I'm, I'm probably gonna use like fierce deity, deity armor, and I need all of the dragon, dragon parts. parts. And it, it is cold, so I gotta be quick. I'm gonna just try to shoot like uh, we're gonna get the scale right now, so the right there. Please just go not in the depths. Are we good? scale. And there's some honey if we need it, but I'm not super comfortable with getting that honey because it's right at the depths. Well, there goes one of my health. Okay, that could have gone a little better, but... We got, got dragon, dragon parts, parts, and that's, that's all we need for, for now, from the intro. We need to get the dragon parts eventually, but that'll, that'll help for the future. future. We, could we could use Nadra to enter the depths, and if we have the cold armor on, 
we, we could, could just ride, ride nature through the depths, depths and, and it would be like, like oh, I, I technically escaped the depths. And then I'll, I'll let myself, myself warp between, between the depths and the, uh, the surface. surface. Okay, I just, just had, had a great idea. idea. I think, I think a, a fair thing would be going, going to the depth of the surface. surface. It's the, the first time I must escape by riding a dragon up. And and every subsequent time, I can, I can as, as long as I'm at a light, light route, oh, I, I can warp up to the shrine right above that light route. So, so it's not like I'm going anywhere, just I'm warping straight up. This, this is, is the, the wrong, wrong way. way. That sounds pretty fair. I think, I think I'll, I'll go, go by that rule. This is the, the gate. gate. There, there is a, a secret heart container. Like, like a, a full heart container or stamina vessel, vessel that we can get on the Grand Plateau. And I do, do believe we actually have the resources to get it. it. Well, not, not right now, now but... I guess it's in the depths. But, but eventually, I think we can get that one. That's, That's basically four shrines completed. Which, uh... Not being able to do all the shrines completing... Basically, Basically, four, four instantly is pretty helpful. Stuff in the tunnel, tunnel attack lab. lab. So, when well, no, you you reach that Mount Where, Where am I? There's some rice, rice here. here. <coughs> That's, That's Mount Nero. That's a boss problem. I think it kind of that way. way. I, think I think my, my map marker, marker was actually pretty good. good. <laughs> ah, I, don't I don't think I can, I can reach that. that. I, don't I don't really need star fragments for anything. There's a shrine right, right there, there, which would, would be nice, nice if I had a pin, but I don't have any. any. I'm actually gonna hop off the cliff so I don't have to deal with that ball problem. Yep, yep, that's the tunnel right there. there. That pin is actually pretty good. Hopefully, Hopefully at some point I'll be able to come back to these pins and pick them up. Or else I'll be stuck without the map or the map pins. It's kinda just gonna be like, if I see something interesting, I gotta go do it at that moment. Is there a problem if I was already going to see something interesting? We successfully get past that boss problem. We did. That's a fire wizard rope. That fire rod could be useful, but I'm certainly not strong enough to take one out right now. Finals, we might be able to theoretically beat them, but I 
would, it won't be easy. And out of a can, we got their weapons, we got their bow and their shield, which are kind of the best parts about it. Because we can't take their horns, they're not worth a whole lot. Yeah, for first day of the armor, I'm most likely gonna go with the fierce. It's most like gonna be my, my uh, end game set for the final boss. Because it just requires dragon parts, which are fairly easy to get. As we uh, already proved, you can have one. It might be it's smart once they get our map markers back to put the map markers in places that. Like, are really important, like a town of village, or a local landing, or just anywhere like that. That way we can, uh, just go right back to them. But also in a place that we won't lose them, so we don't forget to put the pin back down. But that Fulano might be a nice pin spot, because I think a Fulano we can beat. I'm honestly really excited to see how the dungeons are gonna go, but we gotta get stronger before we can even try them. I suspect that at least one of them won't be possible, which means that we won't be able to do the, uh, the quest to clear the thunder cloud above uh, in the Thunder Head Isles. Which is very really annoying. Alright, ten of the we made it. Spend money, I just need to have 20 rupees on me. Which I can uh, sell some stuff in the general store. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright, use everything in our inventory. This is completely loud because we didn't hit the plus button or the minus button. We didn't actually, we could sell this toasty scavenger room, which I said we would never see again. Whoa. Got some clothes, which I figured is gonna equip instead of selling. Uh, I guess I saw this amber. Like, those zone A charges are pretty nice. We'll sell that. Whoa. Now I've got 25 rupees. Whoa. Oh. We can use that attack to make the shop. And we can uh, change clothes, and it'll open this menu for us. This is just our pause menu, except unfortunately. We can't, we can't access system, system save, save and load, and, and we can't access any other part of the menu. We can only put codes on. But, this is better than nothing. And then we can never mind, and we're back in gameplay with codes on. This won't help a lot, but. Well, Put the clothes on will help a lot, but these, what I have on right now, will help a lot. And we can get the shrine. Yeah, I think my first objective is get some money, and then go to the, uh, the Jacob Bird area, 
Although, Although to, to get, get to the birds, birds we'll either need a good amount of health that we can tank until we get to the village. Maybe it's all cold. Or we'll need a, a pop, and then even then I think it's too, too cold. That'll be an issue, but we'll get there. So there is an inn halfway through, we can use that to sleep in like a, uh, we'll kind of a line bed tonight. If, if we, we get, get pony points, points, we can unlock Mon your bed, spend, spend 50 rupees for some, some extra health. health. That, that might be helpful. helpful. Getting to the birds. We, we also just go across a different bridge. Scoop it out. out. Oh, this one's fun. We're just gonna power the scoop. Yep. And we just gotta scoop them all out. There is a chest in there somewhere, so I'm actually gonna run in, in there and try to find it. I think it's got a pretty okay reward. Where's on this side? Oh, there it is. I think this is a shield, but oh, I, I don't, don't remember, remember, so we're gonna break our current shield. Shield spawn anywhere. Uh, this is not helpful. Okay. I guess, I guess we're gonna go on the assumption that they don't spawn anywhere. But rocket shields would be uh, pretty helpful because it's a way to quickly ascend without ascend, which we don't have. Alright, so now I have no idea where to go. Maybe just that tower over there? Map would, getting more map would be useful. We've, that's, that's the, the thunder clouds surrounding the Thunderhead thunder Isles. But you don't, don't need to clear the thunderstorm to actually get to Minerva's construct. And Minerva's construct itself doesn't require any uh, anything besides Ultra Hand. So we should be able to get that one as long as we can get to the Thunderhead Isles. Here. Oh, that scared me a little bit. 
to pick, pick up, up the red pin, so we got it again. There we go. Now I've got, got a red pin back. back. I think our game, game we want more stamina, stamina so we can just explore faster. faster. Yeah, his health does not matter because we're already not going to fight a whole lot of things. The sky would be unaccessible because. Actually, the water actually will be accessible because. It's not like we won't be able to build zone A devices, it's just that we can't build them wherever we want. And our battery is going to be very limited. And then we can't use zone A charges to extend our batteries, so. Even like, if we could make things in cover mic, they would aren't super useful at this point in the game because we don't have any battery charge they go like three feet before ending it's a monster camp actually that's a lock chest I've seen some really good weapons out of monster camps so if, if we, we can beat them, we can get some good stuff. <laughs> Those down out to there. Should we get the big ones that the boss become in it? Just the chest at the end, which isn't even locked. Has some good stuff in it. So we could get in there, grab the chest, and leave. Pretty nice. Also, we, we get a shock, shock weapon, weapon. We, we can, can uh, use, use that, that to steal, steal like, like basically any weapon we want off of an enemy. <laughs> but again, we can only use it one time because we'll have to pick up the weapon that we just shocked out of an enemy's hand and then drop the thunder weapon. Also for fights, we usually only need to get them down uh, two thirds of their health. Because at that point, they start dropping your weapon when you stun them, and then you can pick up their weapon and then use that to finish the fight off. All right, what's this What's this tower all about? What's the gimmick with this one? I know this one. We need a fire, fire weapon. weapon. Well, there, there might be a fire, fire around somewhere nearby. Then, then we could just use an arrow. arrow. Although it is raining, so... <laughs> that won't work very well. Do a new shield. We can light a fire here. Light fire real quick. <coughs> toss this weapon and pick up whatever this one is. Alright, so what we need to do for this one... is light, light the brambles, brambles on fire. fire. There's a bunch of wood we can use nearby. I think my plan first burn, burn these brambles. There we go. We'll, we'll burn all of them, them, but I will burn a good chunk of them. Steal all of this wood. Get it out of the way. Okay, what we need to do for this one is build like a little umbrella platform thing to make it so that we can put a, an 
arrow right here. And they won't burn. Or they can burn apples. But since we don't have access to uh to keep the wood real Fire weapon, we have to get the fire from here to there. I think I know how, but we gotta actually do it now. You nail here. Really? Got a torch here as well. I'm gonna quickly pick, pick up, up that torch because I think it'll be more useful. I think the, the way, way to do this is that we're gonna get... First we have to protect the tower, so we're gonna get like this. We're gonna put it... Here, we'll, we'll be able to burn down the rambles. Now, we're gonna get some more wood. I guess I can't just wait for it to stop raining because it's a constant rainstorm here. But like a little bridge from this thing here. Theoretically, we should be able to light this torch. <coughs> so light the torch. Walk this way. I did not, not enter the rain. rain. Now we need to get from here to there. We won't need more wood for that. Like 
that maybe. Sometimes I put up my torch here, and other times it doesn't. Enough. It'd be nice if we could burn these brambles out of the way. Which I think we actually can. Let's do it by doing that. I disagree, but... We can actually save this by pushing it into the main. Never mind. And we lost a piece without burning any wheels. So we should use like these wheels instead. The best part about these challenge runs is that inherently simple puzzles require inherently difficult solutions to solve.
that should work. Come on. Tower. Totally worth it. Some map data will be nice though. Hey, it's Major again. Check out the Sky Islands. That's not a whole lot of point. I always got the glide suit, which could be helpful. Uh, but I don't know where it is, especially without the map. That's helpful. Service map updated. That was honestly a pretty pointless part of the map we got. But, but we, we still, still got, got it. it. Alright, I think we're gonna go there next. Well, we've, we've got a pin on that one, so... Not double pin it. Let's see what we can see from up here. I can actually finally pin that shrine. We're gonna head to that tower over there, the one right in front of me. Oh, that's Star Dragon. Kinda want that. Some good money. Oh, uh, and wait, we won't be able to get. Actually, there is one somewhere. My thought is that for the, uh, the Lightning Temple, which requires us to do a bunch of light puzzles, so that might not be possible, is that we can use a light rod to do them. But, there, we can't make one, and there's only some, I know there's at least one of them in existence in a shrine somewhere. And I forgot to take my other weapon with me. Actually, this part is not awful. Let's, let's just go, go to the cold areas. Yeah. <laughs> we did all of that to see where we were in the map. Immediately going into a new chunk of the map. Challenge Hunter. Challenging. Really? I enter an area of eternal rain? Okay. I guess I'm not going that way. The outer region 
It does rain a lot. If we can get up here without the rain. That's me out. That's a very strong enemy. Great if I can get his weapon, but... I don't have a shock weapon on me. I've got a torch. Torches are... Uh, oh, no. What does he have on him? Oh, it's just a sword with a mushroom on it. I got jump scared by the battle music. It's like when the like, guardian theme starts up. Just, honestly though, if there was a guardian here, I could just kill it. He has a half a shield. Oh, it's like a campfire. campfire. A monster base? Yep. Honestly, I can't think of a whole lot in the sky that's even helpful to us. Like Sage as well might be useful, but I didn't think we can get most of those. Uh, I think the depths either. With the dark suits and that great. Death school energy sort suits not amazing. Honestly, the depths in the sky don't have a whole lot in them that are like super useful. Except crystallized charges might be useful. <laughs> and auto build. Shrine we saw earlier. Also another stable down there. We can head down to the stable so we can get our horse to move a little faster. This shrine. Combat training shields. Okay, we can do this one. We will need to uh, maybe switch shields, but like during the middle of this. But I think the first guy has it on a, uh, a fire weapon. Wait, he's got a fire weapon. Yeah, he's got a fire rod. That's super useful. The other one has a thunder weapon, which can also be great. Which means we can come back to the shrine anytime we need it. Yeah, the fire weapon would be great, but we gotta switch shields after we kill the fire guy. Or else we're gonna get shocked. That is scary. Alright. Back to the <laughs> that killed me instantly. Well, I think you're gonna have to load because I think it loads from last. Manual save, not auto save. Although it might be auto save. I really don't know how this, how this game works. Okay, it's from the last uh, auto save, so we can do it, try again. I did not expect that to instantly kill me.
I'm, I'm scared of these guys. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I don't use berries very often. And even when I do, it just like it just take the attack. Can't take this one. I gotta go through this every single time. You wonder exactly how much damage this is doing. How much more health I would need to tank it. Yep. Now I just gotta do the, uh, gotta do two more. One. And then break the shield. Shield. And then one more. I have to get ready for the second one. I'm so bad at this. I really think the fireball is going to move faster. I really think it's just like as soon as he swings, it's gonna move like really fast, and that's why I'm parrying early. <sighs> this is awful. I just, this is legit just a skill issue. This is better, but it's objectively risky because we might run into a uh, enemy. I'm gonna try to take one of these construct bows. Can I shoot the ground, not lose an arrow? Yeah. This is how you break, this is how you switch bows.
construct bow. And quickly check what's in this chest. Actually, that might be a shield in that chest, because I just did shield training. I gotta break the shield anyways, so... Probably a shield, and then we'll pick up that fire weapon. That will be very helpful because it will allow us to go to a. Uh... Oh, yeah, Mighty Zone Knight shield. That was a great shield. That was a great hiccup. And then we're gonna take this fire weapon with us, the Ruby Rod. It'll keep us warm in cold areas. That was a great shrine. Even though it took a few attempts, we've now got a really good bow. Really good shield, really good uh, weapon. And that means we're probably gonna head to cold area to get some armor. The cold, the cold resistant armor. That will do two levels of cold resistance and then we'll have heat resistance, which will allow us to go like everywhere except like a few places in the depths. One, one of which is where the fire temple is, and like, a few caves. Yeah, the flamebreaker armor is like, kind of bad this game. So we'll, we'll need it, but not for a while. Yawn. <sighs> Great if we could attach zone A devices to this uh, shield, but we can't escape with fuse. Fuse actually would not be bad to escape with, He's, although you can't do a whole lot of shrine puzzles. You can use rocket shields, which is like ascend, but better. The way any of the four shrines would be, any of the four abilities are. Be okay, okay to escape the greatest guy I went with. <laughs> Fortunately, it's either Ascend or Ultra Hand. I think between the two, Ultra Hand's a lot better. Like, Recall? It's pretty good. Fuse lets you at least fight enemies. Uh, ascend is. Eh, it's okay. And, but I think. Ultra hand still the best one. And then auto build. Honestly though, I think auto build is gonna be clutch. I think this is the tower where it's like the guy who's stuck. I just realized that Zora's domain, like the challenge for it, gonna like wash off the statue will be more difficult. Because we can't just like, you know, have a splash fruit. I think the way we have to do it is maybe uh, find a splash fruit somewhere else and then ultra head carry it there. And then I like, set it on the statue and shoot it with an arrow. Or get a water weapon. Really, uh... It's okay, we might not be able to get this tower. It might require a sense. one, but I don't think I can do anything with it. Unless maybe I can like access the stick from like a weird angle. Like, my, like there's a few sticks blocking the path. I guess if I can access them like through the gaps in the shrine. I 
think you might be able to see them. Dude, yeah. See that little orange right there? That's it. Made like a little platform here. I might be able to grab one of the sticks and pull it out. Maybe you can access it from like this side. supposed to do is go down and use ascent in, but I think I might be able to get this one. Can I, like, crouch and use your hand at the same time? No. Yeah, like, you can see the sticks, but it's just like, if we had, like, a little platform here, we could, uh, Ooh, that rock actually. I'm gonna go get that rock. And I'm gonna pull it over here. Maybe that's the platform we need. Yeah, this. these rocks. I'm gonna take both of them. Thoughts that maybe this will be like the high need to access those, uh. Sticks and pull them out. Because you don't need to enter the cave, you just need to get rid of those two sticks. There's a battle talus down there. I think it's worth, uh, worth a try. Even if this doesn't work. supposed to enter, then you go in the middle of it, and you ascend. But we can't do that. So instead, we've got to try another solution. I'm going to leave one here, because I just grabbed both, just in case. I think we only need one. I'm going to set it like right there. Though, that, that was pretty, pretty, pretty fun, fun to figure out. I kind of don't want to take the stick. It's not super useful. Oh, we gotta activate it first. Yeah. That's actually, like, pretty clever. Tower. 
ultimate goal to have end to do. That's covered out. So Yeah, it'd be great if I could get to the end of the Thunderhead Isles right now. But I don't think I can. Oh wait, we can't drop this flame weapon. We, can, we have to break it if we want to get rid of it. I think we're gonna drown. Oh gosh, we did. We have to pass though, so. I thought one of those falling rocks would be useful for anything besides height. Yeah, I think this is a pretty easy shrine puzzle. So I'm gonna try to do it real quick. I think I've gotta, like, make ice in the river and then bring it back. The uh, fire weapon I'm holding might be a problem, but I think we'll, as long as we're fast, we'll be fine. And there's an ice in there here somewhere. You can see it. I really want to hit it to find out, so I'll use an arrow. That's a fire emitter. I'm just gonna run a burn out of burn on my battery so I don't have to uh, uh pick up a uh so this one's a nice one. We're gonna have to use another shot to uh There are some rockets here, which would be great if we could actually fuse. Get our first rocket shield, but we don't have fuse. So, can't do that. I'm gonna set you on this little platform right here. I guess one will be pretty good. There we go. Now we have to run back and do another one. Nice, the are still here. 
Oh, oh wait, we, we have, have an ice block. <laughs> Keep it away from me so the my hot weapon doesn't melt it. away from things to turn them off without using dirt only. Three base blocks. I should make a shrine. Yep. That was a shrine quest, but the fact that it was a shrine quest doesn't really matter. We're not going any for any like percentage. Blessing. If this is any sort of weapon, then we're going to pick it up, but if it's like a jam or something, we don't get to pick it up. Big battery. Um, we might be able to sell that for money. We'll never be able to use it, but... Might be worth something. have been pretty kind to us so far. We've only can't out of the six additional shrines we've run into, we've only been able to we've only misdonored one. Can never use that, but it's money. This would be a good time to do the uh the thunder of the Islands, if I could actually get through them. That's the Stonox. What is with me running to Stonoxes? It's like the third one. Don't you dare throw something at me and kill me. Guy in a well. 
This one should be easy, I just gotta find the cave. I think it's on the other side. This will give me some money as well. Suit would be nice, but it does take a lot of effort to get just for no rain. Looks like I can climb up less here, maybe get a break. Rock, if I could get there. Korak wants to reach his friend on the other side of the cliff. Uh, but I'm not helping him because Korak seeds are pointless. I could have been a kick lighter to get back up. This will show off zone devices for the first time and how useful they can be. Honestly, it'd be great if we could pull out our own pallets. <laughs> I 
is actually, I actually don't think there's a controller here, so I don't think this will help us. We can use a fight though, so... As long as we face it in a different direction. Okay, we can go this way and then turn right. Come back here. It kind of did. Got to the other side, which is uh, a little less steep. If I got a controller, it'll be a little bit more useful. Maybe a second fan. Maybe some more battery charge. My worry is that is going to be gaining height. If we had the, if we had auto build, we'd build something like the uh, hot air balloon schematic out of Zonite. So we can we have full access to Zonite, and even though it's a little annoying to play it because we don't have like a we can't we don't have like a ton of weapons. Once we beat the fire temple and get Yunobo, we can always use him. That would allow us to gain infinite height or distance wherever we needed it. But it isn't helpful in shrines. <coughs> so that's like a good trade off. Do you want to be able to complete shrines or do you want to be able to complete. like, get to dungeons? Yeah, we can always switch. But we're out of things to do with our hand. Give us access to the Thunderhead Isles, which would be great if we could get to, but I don't think we're going to be able to get to them. Although I am gonna, tr I, I am gonna try something. I don't, I don't remember that shrine was, but I'm gonna try one more thing. Oh wait, I accidentally paused. Didn't mean to open it up. Uh, where is it? Is that a shrine? Towards the Thunder and Isles, it'll help. Uh, actually, we don't have any Thunder. We don't have any Metal Weapon, though. Do we? I don't think we do. We've got a Zonite Sword with a Ruby on it. I don't think it's Metal. we got a Zonite Bow, we got a Zonite Shield. I think we're fine.
cyber message. I'll just respond later. It's not really the place to do it. I don't need that. I remember I saw this one like the, the wrong, like the wrong way the first time. There. All right, we'll switch. Okay, okay. Whew. Almost didn't make it. The last thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try to get the charge set, which will be some early game armor. And it's kind of right here, but I don't know if we can get it. And if we could get it, then that means we can clear the, the sky of the clouds. There should be an opening over here. Somewhere. It might be closed, but... around here somewhere. I don't know if I have access to it. Can I at least 
pick up the other two parts of the set. Right now. Oh, is it right there? have the quest, but there's no reason that the uh, entrance should be gone. I'll cut up a guide real quick. I swear I remember there being something here, but it's just not here right now. And it might not... It might not s supposed to be here right now. I know... I, I think I remember where the other two parts of the charge set are, so we can at least get those. But I swear it was... somewhere. I don't see why it wouldn't be here though. <laughs> Alright, location. I know it's here somewhere, but is it here right now? is blocked off for me. bridge and there's nothing there so the other side maybe Nine seventy, so it should be like right this way. Yeah, it should be right here, but because I've not progressed the quest, it's not. That's. I gotta look for another entrance, though. So maybe there's another another way in. 
I would love to get Minera's Constructor of the game, but I don't think I can. Yeah, it should be here, but it's not. Which means I need to, if I want to get the charge, like the, uh, to clear the clouds, then I would have to get, uh, the other two parts of, uh, like regional phenomena done. And that's a black was off us, that's a problem. Don't shoot me. I'm gonna look for the other parts of the charge yet, then, though, because they're somewhere around here. And I think those would be open. Oh! God, that's... that scared me. I gotta... I... I... this is not a good place to be. You're gonna shoot me, Annie. Don't shoot me. And they had shock arrows. Great. Alright, I don't think it's worth it to get the charge set. Welp, not a whole lot I can do here right now. The clutch isn't even available until later. Welp. I guess I'll just run up to the goddess statue and get like a uh, stamina or something. Maybe a heart. Actually, health's not gonna help me a lot right now, so stamina will. And then I'll call it good. Function of the regular goddess statue. Okay, then. Thanks for nothing. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Call it good for today. Next time, I think we're actually gonna go to the cold area. Now that we have this fire rod, we can keep ourselves warm. But I'll see you all then. Just gonna pause. Save. See you all next time.